Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about um, root funding uh, finding algorithm. So basically, uh, we are given a function or an equation that is very complicated and we want to find the, the root, whereas um, we set the equation equal to zero. But sometimes it can be very hard to find the root or it can the function can have multiple roots. So we can use um, different method to tackle the problem. So um, first of all, I'm going to introduce the um, fixed point iteration. So basically, probably sometimes we have a, f um, um, so for example, given a function of f of x, then we are going to rewrite this function as um, g of x minus x. So we rewrite this function as um, f of x. So right now, using this fixed point iteration, all we need to do is to find the points where um, g of x equal to x, where this x is the root of um, f of x. So we can see that. Um, can see like uh, how this function work, how this method work in uh, in a graph. So I I write a function that's uh, for the fixed point iteration. So now, um, for example, if we're looking, so for example, f of x here is cosine of x minus um, uh, um, minus x. Then we rewrite this function as g of x minus x, where g of x will be cosine x. So now if we use this method, and then the result we find will be the root for f of x, not the g of x, but this is the step that we need that we use to find the root for this function. So, for example, if we find this function uh, around this fun uh, function, we can see that we get the value uh, 0.74. So, actually, you can see that um, this is the blue line is uh, cosine x, and then for this. Uh, black line is um, y equal x so given this so like i said like we are setting that g of x equal x so basically we're finding where these two lines intersect so from this is y equal x and then we go all the way uh, given a starting value we find we connect to the or to the function to g of x and then we go back to y equal x and then we go back to g g of x and then we go back until we until we intersect at the point where g of x equal x and that result this x here will be the root of cosine minus x so we can see that it's, it's approximately zero it um if you want a more precise answer just increase the iteration um yeah it so basically you're just um, running this equation again and again and then, and then to make sure that you get the you get the uh, uh, the point here the more iteration you run the more precise um, answer you will get so for example if we run a hundred iteration then we can see that this will be so this this the answer of this will be uh, closer to zero compared when we run only ten iterations. So we can see that this number it becomes very small. And then the same thing for I don't need to run to 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 to, to complete the example here. You can you can just yeah just remember you need to given a function you need to rewrite this function as g of x minus x. Then you find where g of x intersect with y equal x and then the answer will be the root for your f of x so this is the um, fixed point iteration um, one of the root funding algorithm 
Okay, so for the second method, I'm going to introduce the um, the Newton iteration, where you where you need to given a function, you need to first of all you need to find the derivative of the function. Then you're going to apply this formula and then and then run and then complete this formula uh, again and again until you actually and, and until you answer converge to a fixed point. Well, um, to be honest, not uh, each algorithm has their own uh, pros and cons. So it really depends on your original function and your starting point. So sometimes some um, some method some method doesn't work on all the all problems. So you need to choose wisely on the method you use and your start and your starting point. But now I'm just like giving you a couple tools. But you really have to. There are some there are some benchmark that you would need to use to um, to decide that which method you you, you want to use to help you to find the the route more efficiently and or even to make sure that the, the that the answer converge to a, to a fix to a, to a point yeah so for the Newton iteration so given a function you need to find a derivative of that function and then you're going to apply this formula again and again and then to find the to find the root so for example here we can see that um, so so here we are we directly getting the root for f of x so we can see that using the uh, the newton iteration we get the answer 0 0.7390 which is uh quite uh very close to the to the result that we get from the fixed point iteration so we can see that uh, both methods converge on this function on this equation but just remember, not all equation will will converge. It really depends on the method and your starting point and how difficult your your equation that you're looking at. So, um, like I said, in Newton iteration, you need to find the given a function. You need to find the derivative, and then you are going to apply this function here again and again to find the final uh, uh, to find the final result. So for your iteration, um, make sure. So basically, how you, how this, um, whether you can de predefine the iteration that you you wanna run this um, function, or you want to, um, you can calculate the tolerance, like your last res the difference between your last result and your second last result is very small then you can say that the, the the result converge and then you can end the functions and then that that result will be the roof the root of your uh, of your equation so we can see that um, basically just given a starting point here we just um, just uh, draw a slope and then we cut at where um, y equal to zero and then we go back to the original equation so from that point we'll also draw another slope until we hit the um, x axis and then we go back to the equation and then we draw another slope until the until the, the difference of the two result is very small or we can or we can see that uh, it really um, goes to um, zero so we can say that the, the result that we get here will be the root for this function we can try some other um, yeah, and I think there's a function there's a library here called mosaic it will if you if you write a function and then you call the call the this function you can get the it um, this will return the um, the derivative of the of your of, of your, the, your input function so for this function here You can see that um, 1.3. So we are finding the root of this function. So we just plug in the number and see how well this function works. So we can see that the, fun the, um, the result is very small, it's very close to zero. 
if we increase the iteration, then we'll just get a very small number. So we can say that um, this number is very close to the root of the function. Okay. So and the third method is this is called the secant method. Um, basically, this method is like is similar to the Newton iteration, where we are uh, uh, draw. Um, basically, we're just um, plot. Um, we're just going to draw a line that bet between the function, between the two points of a function, and then and then we are going to stop at where the line um, hit the hit the x axis. So we can see that here when we hit that when when the slope hit the x axis, and then we go back to the original function, and then we draw another slope. So for the secant method, it's the same, but what what is different is that we need two starting points. So we need to define two starting points, and then we're going to connect these two points on the function, and then and then we stop at the x-axis, and then we have a third point, and then we just keep going on until until the, until the end of iteration or the tolerance between the the two to the two results is very small. So basically, it's something like this. So you can see that given um, we define our starting point as one and two, so basically it's here one and two. So we draw the line between one and two on this function, and then we hit the we hit on the on the x axis, and then we have a um, the third we have the x three here, and then we use x two and x3 and then we draw the line again until we hit the x and we have the fourth fourth point here and then we just go continue to do the same and then we just like whenever we cross the x axis we go back to the original function that's our that's our next point and we keep doing that until we until we finish the iteration so we can see that um, 1.3098 which is similar when we use the um, Newton iteration. So we can see that, um, yeah, they're all very um, um, efficient root funding fun finding um, algorithm. So, and then there's also a method called bisection method. Basically, it is, this, it is similar to the um, Second method where you predefine two two points. So basically, you're going to search the root within within this area, and then you just keep um, narrow down your search until you, you hit to a very narrow uh, a narrow region, and you have and then the x your your root will be within that x within that region. So for all of this method, without finding the root mathematically, so basically you're just um, using the function, whether you use the derivative or using the secant line, or the or, or the or the y equal x um, lines in the in the fixed iteration method. Basically, you're just Finding the the where the line intersect with the x axis, then you then you make that as your as your new point, and then you and then you give and then you start from that new point, and then you keep and then you find the next uh, point where it, where it inters intersect with the y equal to x or a y equal to zero. So as you keep doing that. You find that uh, if if your method converge, then you will see that um, your final result will be very close to the root of the function. Um, so basic in here, you are um, you are real, you are changing the math uh, changing the function. Whether you are looking for a derivative or finding a secant line or finding uh, converting from f of x to g of x. Just make sure that you know when you find the x, 
you have you you have to realize the x is the root for your original function, not the the not the function that you rewrite in in the middle. So yeah, so here are are some of the some of the root finding algorithm. So choose wisely based on whether the method converge. And choose wisely on the starting point or um, or the regions that you want to narrow down to find the root. Um, thank you very much. So uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave the comments in the comment section. And then uh, if you have any question, I will just I will respond or make another video for you. Um, thank you very much.